just I just cleared into a country with a with a beer. I put a few things into a computer. Mateus showed me how to do it. This is the coolest way I've ever come into any country. Just uh, signed in in a cafe. Just customs and excise in a cafe. Brilliant. <laughs> One drinking beer. <laughs> and this, ladies and gentlemen, is the reason I've come to Martinique. It's such a good food. Just look at that croissant and a baguette in a in a dog bowl. I bet your idea of fun is not seeing a topless middle-aged man eating food. But I've got to tell you, I've got to share this moment with you. A croissant. This is. A real French croissant is still warm. This is living, boys and girls. Martinique, it's a piece of Europe dropped into the Caribbean. Ah. This alone was worth 27 hours at sea in rough weather yesterday to get here. This is next. <laughs> I've got two of them as well. As you can see, it's raining in Martinique this morning. Uh, that actually over there is where the town is, where the shore is. You can't even see the island. Uh, it's like being at sea in a flotilla of yachts. It is very, very odd. The only thing is because the anchor was set uh, in totally a different direction, we sort of backed on our anchor chain. So I don't even know if the anchor's dug in anymore. So I'm going to stay on board until all this is done. It was so hot yesterday, I put the bimini up and that's now blowing all over the place. So I've got to get that down as soon as it stops raining. Now the bimini's starting to leak and that usually happens <laughs> when it gets like this. It's absolutely torrential outside. I can't see through the, uh, the Bimini windows at all. Look at that. A little bit concerned because there's a, a yacht behind me. You can just see him there. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm actually pulling down on him now. Uh, he's looking a bit closer than he was before. So I've got to just keep an eye out for a while. And it's yet another day here at the Anchorage in Martinique. Uh, today is particularly beautiful. A lot of rain yesterday, a lot of wind. Uh, stayed on board and did editing, uh, followed by a couple of beers. That's all I did yesterday, but today's different. Look at the color of that sea. I want to go over there and explore a beach and just enjoy myself, but I can't because uh, I'm on the boat and I'm taking apart the winch. She was playing up for a while, uh, and now she's pretty much solid. I can't crank her over. Uh, we normally have a rope on there, and there's the gypsy wheel system that goes on there, uh, which takes the chain. Of course, I've got uh, everything tied off elsewhere at the moment. That's not uh, doing anything. I've got that off. Uh, it took me a hell of a while. There's a, um, one of those uh, key things that fit in here. Uh, it took me a long time to get all that apart, and now I've got to take this plate off and get inside. Yeah, it's taken me two hours to get this baby off. There's a keyway in there, and it wasn't clear if I had to take the key out before I could get this off. Uh, in the end, the whole thing just slid off. Well, it didn't slide off, it was persuaded off. Uh, bear in mind, this, this must be 12 or 14 years old, this thing, and uh, it's very, very worn. So I gotta take it apart now and see if I can fix it. There are an awful lot of boats in this anchorage. And that's because with the Caribbean, you don't generally use marinas, uh, you anchor, because it's so beautiful and cheap, of course, for well, free in most cases. Um, so something like a winch on the deck is of great importance. I've been using that up to 10 times in one day, uh, just anchoring and moving on and re-anchoring, what have you. And when there's bad weather, um, you need that thing, believe me. Uh, to get your anchor up, you don't want to be handballing it hand over hand. But look, I'd rather be out there. But I've got to fix this first.
Having tasted the island's excellent croissants a few days before, we were eager to get off and go to the main supermarket, which was around the corner in the big town. An owner of a catamaran uh, gave us a tow uh, all the way into town, which saved us a long journey in the dinghies. I'm not really familiar with modern catamarans, so I was eager to have a look round, and I just really wanted to have a bounce up and down on the trampoline, but thought better of it. Just got back in the dinghy. Sun's going down, so uh, it's a good job we've got back at this time. It was so nice to go into a real uh, supermarket. Um, I got things like uh, tortilla wraps, and another thing is a French pate, real French pate. Wow! Um, so that's great. But of course, the most important supply is a beer and wine. I tell you what, at uh, less than a euro each for one of these, you won't uh, find anything that cheaper anywhere in this area. And really, that's the point of doing a big shop here. Um, just put my hand in there and I've got uh, uh, ham pate, I've got uh, gouda cheese. So many places uh, I've been to in the last few months just don't have things like this. Oh, Bella would call me on the radio. Uh, and sweeties, I love sweeties. It's a hot, hot day and with the help of my granny shopper, I've been out buying wine because it's French wine. It needs to be on my boat and not in a shop. Uh, before it was Portuguese wine, that's long been drunk. Uh, south of here, wine's gonna be expensive, so stock it up the old cellar. There, that should keep me going. And a couple of bars of chocolate just in case I get hungry. The only problem is I hope I can get them all to fit in here. So it's a beautiful night tonight. I can hear people singing on shore. Uh, all is well with the world. But uh, this evening, before it got dark, there were three guys uh, in a boat uh, looking out, one might say checking out the yachts. Um, now, uh, the Caribbean, you've got to be a little bit careful. Uh, there is crime rating uh, figures available for different islands. And Martinique's pretty good. Uh, very low crime rate here, um, but nevertheless, um, I've been around bad people many times in my life, and you get that little feeling. And today there were three guys who just didn't fit in. They didn't look like boat people, uh, yachties or cruisers or whatever you want to call them. Um, they were hanging out, they were circling and going around and looking at different boats. And I don't think it's because they were interested in boats. And they came out to my boat, around it, and as they did, they were looking and checking out my dinghy, which is hanging off the back. Um, and then they went off and they did the same with other boats. So I called my friends here in the marina, uh, in the uh, 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 anchorage, and uh, we both decided to take our boats out of the water tonight. It might have been nothing, but uh, nevertheless, You've got to be careful here, uh, which is a shame because uh, I, I hope it was nothing to be honest with you, but uh, better safe than sorry. Shortly after that incident, I decided to do something about my dinghy security. Leaving it in the water at night was probably not the best option. I'd noticed that many other cruisers pull their dinghies out of the water at night. With not having davits on the back of my boat, I had to find another way of doing that. I'd seen other people making a strop system. Uh, James had done the same thing with his boat and he came over to give me a hand and a little bit of advice. By using a spare halyard and a pulley block, we came up with a pretty good system. It was an unexpected turn Needing someone who gave my heart A third degree burn You might have seen this place before But for me being a debutante It's a little bit unsure 
so you must understand If I try to get the lay of the land It's a lot to take in Can't seem to read your face Don't know where to begin And that's the majestic, fantastic pitons of St. Lucia. But it does add a sort of authenticity but it does add a sort of authenticity to the entire European experience. Mm. Like a blue cheese. For... Like a blue cheese. <laughs> that is very good. <laughs>